Okay, here we go. Welcome back to some more Avatar Frontiers of Pandora. Hope you're all doing well, having a great week, and have a great day. So, this is going to be the second part of me collecting the materials and crafting the Sarantu set, which is supposedly the best set in the game, and the best weapons in the game. Now, it's been a lot of fun so far, and this one's more or less going to be just hunting the Fanators, crafting the last weapons and the last piece of the Sorrento armor. So I'm looking forward to it. Let's get into it. So I went and got the bass that Lily that you need, the one that I need. Like I say, you need three. I also killed two more storm gliders to get the horns that you need for the bows so I'm just gonna craft that there's the long bow Two hundred and sixty five for a longbow. Move speed while aiming priest restore fifteen very nice in and ten percent stealth damage. Short bow as well. I like that gain snap aim sh assist. If I had, if I thought the short bow might do enough to kill a Thanator, <laughs> I might actually use it. Okay, so let's see quickly what they look like. There's the longbow. I think it looks pretty cool. That's still the best grip I can get. And I get up to 19. I really also like how this short bow looks. Uh, the one reason I did this is, is the Fanator is 20. And this is where this thing it gets kind of stupid. It's like... Even if the stuff is just in your hands, like on your wheel to choose weapons, they bring you up to 19 and that makes it that the thing is closer to your level. So it, it really doesn't quite make sense to me, but anyways. Let's see if it helps me take on the Thanatar. I am also going to buy the mods for the weapon, for the RDA weapons. Here you go, have a look. Let's 
because I'm not really spending my anything specific my spare parts I like how that muzzle looks you take care of Yeah, wildlife damage. If only I did damage wildlife with this. Uh, cosmetics. You can now put stuff on your weapons. You really want to? Oh, sorry. Just wanted to make sure I didn't change the cosmetics that it looks like that other muzzle. I think that looks pretty cool. So the same look and the paint. <laughs> Very nice. Be yourself. Danny's proud we stopped that drill. I can feel it. Okay. So when fanat are hunting, there is a few things to know. Like I said, make, try and get as much mods and stuff that does either weak spot damage or preferably wildlife damage. Then it doesn't appear until you are on the ground. It can grab you off your ekran. And it's pretty good at climbing. There are rocks and stuff you can climb on and try and aim at it. But they've also they're pretty clever and made it that it doesn't really stand still. Oh, this is brilliant weather to so much fog and stuff. Whoa. Now, this thing does not, do not confuse it with the feral fanatars. Now, first off, as you know, you get this white thing, you hear your heartbeat, and listen, you can hear where it's roar is coming from. Now the irritating thing is, is your ekran also makes noises so sometimes your ekran can actually be m more annoying and as it gets closer you can hear your heart rate increasing and can't you can't focus. focus at the moment. Now you can try and see, I say at the moment I'm not going to see it at all and aim at it from a distance you can see it beforehand try and hit the hit weak spot now I'm just going to show you with my 384 damage bow fully drawn
does sometimes come from over there. Focus. Make sure you have the 50% damage meal. There's a few of them that you can actually make. You can even use storm glider meat. It doesn't have to be fanatron meat. Come on, where is this thing? There it is. Can't focus. So see, you can try and hit it from over here. That's sometimes do a sniffing thing. But the thing that I don't like is can't that you focus. can't really see the... Is it stuck there or something? Oh no, here it comes. Can't focus. Still hasn't seen me. There it does. Okay, fully drone. That's how much damage I did to it. Now, here's the thing is, is if you don't get the one hit. rather die because it resets you and the fanatar so then it's full health again but see that was a fully drawn heavy bow with 384 damage and 50% damage increase wildlife damage on mods and stuff let's see it kicks you out a little bit further Oh, something else is, is when your when the Fanator actually shows up when it becomes where you can Let's fly. focus on it with your Navi vision when it <laughs> becomes red, your Ikran flies away and you can't call your Ikran because it's too dangerous. So I showed you the one move, now that's one way of doing it. The other way is you can fool what I call the Jake Sully and now it can't get you. So you can maybe let it hit you once and use that time to pull your bow and hit him or try that it takes long enough because like I say they made it that he does really not stand still and there he is I see he'll try and get you but trying to get him to stand still it's kind of a mission. But like I say, stealth of this thing is kind of like... No, I want to... You can try and lure him that he hits with you, where he thinks he can. There we go, okay now he's... Hmm. 
But now, I hope this works. I'm going to show you another way that I've got. And I missed. I'm just going to die again. Is something there? Focus! Can't focus.
Okay, finally got it. Thank you. I was trying to think I can't kill the thing. Okay, there we've got the bone. Now for if you were wondering what I was doing with the thrower, it's the skunk palm pods. So with the Thanator, for some reason, it stuns them for a few seconds. So it makes it a lot easier to try and get the, if you're quick enough, to get the kill in on the, the weak spots. Ah, oh, this was difficult for me. And I have to go get another one. The remaining RDA will not go unpunished. Yes, yeah, so I just want to show you, I can now make the spear thrower. I have to admit, this thing looks kind of interesting. It's actually got like, like a laser or something or a scope or <laughs> underneath it. Okay, 209 compared to the other, that's 148. Okay, there's the reed and the cloud lily. We'll see how much we actually get. But it does 10% damage, 10% staff damage, increases range, and 40% range resistance. For 15 seconds after killing an enemy. So this does more than your bow. We must not rest until all our gear is moved to Pandora. Looks pretty cool. Interesting. Okay, so maybe the short bow. Well, the long bow gains the most, so. Okay, now for the last one, it's for the ankles and is the Borderlands Fanatoride. Now, Hunter's Guide, uh, Wildlife Gatherable, so there's the Borderlands. Only found to the south of the ensnared lake. Cascading stones. Okay. So that is... Right there, where the Tursu sapling is. So I'll probably show you in on there and waiting for the Fanatar. Oh, 
Okay, so it's at these vines. So there's a sapling there underneath. As soon as we land, we'll start getting it. You can also once again try and hide underneath the vines or something. There's a tower, some kind of pump, I think, and some tanks. That's a pump jack, a test site for oil extraction. When you're not quite committed to whole scale pollution yet. <gasps> oh no! Okay, here yeah, we've got him. By the way, hiding in these trees don't help. Find a dog and climb it. I'm going to try and stun him and then use the spear thrower. It might be quicker than the heavy bow. You can use the vines as well, maybe try and get him, if you're better at shooting the weak spots as he's making his way up the vines to you. Can't focus! As you see, he climbs. Well, that didn't go very well. This, by the way, I'm shooting a deer here, one of these deer, uh, just because you needed to make that special dish they're talking about with mixing with the fanator meat and just to have the meat for if I need to give it as a contribution or something. I do have my Apex skill now, so I can get close to them until I actually take out my weapon.
Thank you for these gifts. I think I wasn't a clean kill, but I'm not too worried about it. Yes, got it. Thank you for these gifts. Look at that too. Okay, so let's go back to HQ. Across the last piece of armor. Oh, I'm just going back to the hollow. They've got a cooking station. I don't know where the cooking station and HQ is at the moment. Sky people will find no more collusion here. There's a, here's a crafting station. Good to see you, but so many have been lost. I say it's hilarious is they they don't really want you here but you can use their stuff. Okay, this is around to ankle guards. I says this is not really I don't like this. Increased physical resistance but decrease outgoing damage by twenty percent. I really don't like that. There we go, 371 health. I think, yeah, I've got cosmetics on, sorry. And then... I like how they look with the beads. And then we can inspect. And then this is in full Saranto gear. And we're almost at 20. <laughs> Just need better RDA weapons. And the best longbow, shortbow, heavy bow, and spear thrower. And just one last thing the cooking station, I think, is. There. It is time for the to stand tall. So like I said, it's here in Hunter's Guide. So if you see there, see Borderlands and natural lean meat as the main cook ingredient in combination with mere deer fatty meat. So let's see what we get. So we want the Panator there, Borderlands as the main. And for me, a dear fatty meat. Okay, so that is a speciality dish. So it gives you fury and ferment cloud. It for you attract wildlife so it's as, as a negative buff but you can probably use it as a positive you go here to your journal recipes and if you see right there at the bottom see they actually have it as a negative same as like with the upset stomach but like I says I think you can use that as an advantage if you want to attract wildlife
So that is it. And next I think we'll be continuing with the main story. This is, I think it might be two videos. It's been a long journey. Um, some headaches. <laughs> but it was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. And enjoyed sharing it and showing it. Be well. Have a great day. See you in the next video.